The other way is crossing, always. It can be adjusted on the end. This is a, a small sample of a Japanese wall, a traditional wall. What is typical about Japanese walls is they are really thin. I think in Europe, earth walls have the image of being quite thick, even Vettel and Dow technology is quite, it has, I think, probably like 10 centimeters, but the Japanese wall is typically six centimeters. That's a normal wall. And um, this is because the country has lots of earthquakes and they cannot put a mass on, 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 the, on the base, otherwise it would break easily. This is how you make a ball and then you spread, it's a bit, got a bit hard. As you can see, because Japanese houses have a wooden framework, it only connects at a at few points. This is again, because the wall, the wall needs to be kind of elastic to resist the shakes. So there are only a few points. And the, the bamboo net is tied with rice straw. So generally because Japan, the main uh, grain they produce is rice, all, all the straw, both in the material and uh, holding together the, this framework is made of rice. I don't have the sample here, but what is also good with rice straw, that it's really flexible. You don't have to make it wet but it, it, it's really, really strong, so it can stay for, if it's not, if it's kept well without moisture, it can stay for like 100 years or 200 years without losing its strength. What is really interesting about Japanese, the way they use earth, is that they leave to ferment. The best is to leave it for a year, always uh, continuously adding more and more straw, which makes the straw, of course, fall apart. But by this you have a whole range of, of, of fiber lengths because some, some straw would be there for a year and some you just freshly add. Like. So it's a very complex um, fiber length which helps, uh, like long fibers are good for holding together the wall structurally and short fibers are good against cracks because they, they don't let the material crack that much. The first layer, then you usually correct it with a thin layer. After that, uh, you create a sandy layer on the edges. It's a bit a triangle shape. By that, you also decide the outer face of the wall. And then you fill the middle with a, a, a material with short fibers. This is the, called the middle layer. And then you have the finishing layers, which can be either colored earth, or sometimes you, you use uh, uh, lime, so you have a white finish. But these all also, even lime has fibers inside and have some uh, a glue from seaweed, which helps to create a very dense surface. So this lime can also stay for 20, 30 years. Uh, you don't have to remake it. And it's also applied with trowels. It's not, not painted, so it's a thick, it's, it's like a plaster, it's a thick two, two three millimeters uh, layer. Oh, yeah.